Occasionally, when I make a video, I will notice in the comments that a lot of people will come to a conclusion that I didn't intend for them to come to. For example, in my latest video, I expressed my concerns regarding the recent Tears of the Kingdom trailer. People got the impression that I wanted Nintendo to show off a lot more, and that I wouldn't be satisfied until they spoiled the whole game. And that's not true. Now, my policy in situations like this is that that's usually on me. If a significant percentage of people misunderstand what I'm trying to say, then I probably said it poorly. And seeing how my last video has the worst like to dislike ratio I've ever had, then it's very likely that this is one of those situations, and the video is in need of clarification. First of all, I stand by everything I said in that video. I was disappointed by the trailer, and it has left me worried. So I'm not backpedaling on anything. But the impression that I've seemed to have given is that I want Nintendo to spoil all the surprises. And that's not the case. People that have followed my channel for a while will know that I much prefer going into things non-spoiled, and that I find the marketing practice to reveal everything before release to be an unfortunate decision companies often make. I don't want companies to engage in this practice of showing everything before the game releases, but they often do. And in situations where they don't show very much, it's usually because they don't have that much more to show. Companies market in the way they think will get them the most sales. And it's the exception when they hide things so that players can have neat surprises. Players having neat surprises is nice, but in my experience for the marketing team, it's not their main priority. Now, let me explain my concern as clearly as I can. The picture that's being painted by the Tears of the Kingdom trailers that we've seen so far, is that Tears of the Kingdom is just going to be a slightly improved Breath of the Wild. A Breath of the Wild with a moderate amount of content added on top of it. That's the impression I'm getting from those trailers. That's the impression a lot of people are getting from those trailers. I don't think that that's an unreasonable conclusion to come to. Now, if that conclusion is correct, then that's fine. I'm still going to buy it. I liked Breath of the Wild. And if Tears of the Kingdom ends up being better Breath of the Wild, then I'm sure to enjoy it. But it's also not what I was expecting, and it's not what a lot of people have been hoping for. What I expected was that Tears of the Kingdom would use Breath of the Wild as a stable foundation upon which to build, and that with Breath of the Wild already built and six years of development on this game, we would see the Breath of the Wild formula brought to its logical conclusion we would see how they could expand and evolve that core idea. I wanted to see what six years of innovation looked like when it was applied to what is already a fantastic core. Now, I'm still hopeful that what I just described is in fact the case. Nintendo playing it so close to the chest and showing so little has me a little worried, but I'm happy for those worries to be incorrect. I'm eager for them to get dispelled so I can climb back on the hype train with everybody else. So, here's the takeaway. If Nintendo is keeping quiet because they don't want to spoil everything and wants us to experience it ourselves in the game, then that's great. That would be the ideal situation. In my experience, game companies do not function this way, but I'll admit I'm new to looking at what Nintendo is doing, so maybe they're an exception. What I think is more likely is that if they're hiding things, they're hiding them to reveal them at a more appropriate venue than the back of a Nintendo Direct. That is what I'm really hoping for. That we'll get an announcement for a new showcase, and that showcase will make it very clear to me and people like me what kind of game Tears of the Kingdom is going to be. And if the worst comes to pass, and the trailers are completely indicative of what the game is going to be like, then I'll be disappointed, but not so disappointed that I can't enjoy the game. I'm sure even that would be fun. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Please unsubscribe and unclick the bell notification. And as always, thank you very much for watching.